Hello guys, welcome back to part two. We're continuing right where we left off. So I'm going to head back out to see if I can catch any more sea creatures. I think I probably caught most of them. There are also some July fish and bugs that I haven't caught yet. Let me look those up right now, actually. All right, so let's check to see which fish and bugs I still need. I have not got a blue weevil beetle yet. Um, some of them are going to have to wait until nighttime. Yeah, a lot of them are going to have to wait till nighttime, but I still need a grasshopper. Just plain old normal grasshopper. And think that would be such a difficult one to find. All right, let's hop back in the water. Actually, I want to try to jump off one of the rocks or like over here. That looks like it's maybe not just a sea bass. That was a terrible cast. Are you kidding me? It totally moved. If this is just a ribbon eel, I'm gonna be really upset. Ugh, oh, dang. Probably was just a ribbon eel, though. That is probably a sucker fish, but it could be an ocean sunfish, which I do not have yet. Oh, wow, okay. Sucker fish. That's disappointing. All right, let's jump off these rocks. Wee! Okay, that was pretty cute. See, this is new. Oh my god, it's Pascal! I got a scallop. It ought to be savored! Yes! <laughs> I'm so excited we got Pascal. It's one of my faves. Hey man, about that scallop of yours, can I have it? Sure, here you go. I'll find another one. <laughs> Whoa, thanks for your generosity, man. Since you were cool about the scallop, I left you a cool recipe in return. I'm a picture taker, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> the pearls you need for that recipe are rare, but you can sometimes find them on the ocean floor. I keep my eyes open for them, too, and I might even trade you for a scallop if I find one. Forget give and take. This is called give and give. That's how we all win, you dig? Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to lay some truth on you, the deep kind. Feel this. Whales! <laughs> Stick that in your skillet and let it simmer. Yep, today is a good day. So cute, yes. Amazing. I'm so happy we found him. Can we watch him swim alongside here like we used to be able to? 
Oh, yes, let's just follow him like a creeper. Is he gonna eat it? He looked at me. He was like, what are you doing? He did, he, he's eating it. Oh my God. So cute. And now he'll probably just like swim away, but. Ugh, adorable. We're at the end. I can't follow him anymore, guys. <laughs> Goodbye, Pascal. Is he just gonna... He's just gonna keep going. Alright, well now we know there's scallops and there's pearls to find. Amazing. I know I missed some that were further down and now it's starting to rain. I wonder if there's any that like come out only in the rain. Well, now I need to find more scallops. I need another scallop to donate though. I'm so glad I caught this on camera. More than just the little clip I can save on... on my Switch itself. Okay, I got another one. Yeah, I'm gonna swap it. <laughs> swap it with the sea grapes, because I have like two of those. And then let's get back to... A place where we can get back up on land. Actually, I have my ladder on me. I'll just go to the secret beach over here. And let's check out that recipe. Will the animals get mad at me for wearing a um, wetsuit in the rain? A mermaid dresser, so that's how we're gonna get the mermaid furniture. Amazing. And that's what it looks like. Okay, so I need a pearl, giant clam, and coral. And I think underwater understudy. Okay, so I caught 10. Is there one for... Pascal. You otter no. Yes. <laughs> if you meet a laid back fellow floating in the sea, consider sharing some of your scallops with him. You never know what you might learn in return and a little gift never hurts either. Kind cynic. So I wonder if it's like once a day you have a chance of finding Pascal. Because obviously they can't do every single time that you get a scallop. I've never seen one of the, the villagers walk over here before. Fuchsia, what are you up to? Alright, um, let's go talk to Blathers again. I just ran past the museum. What is wrong with me? Make a donation. Just the scallop. Wonderful. I would love nothing more. Ah, the scallop. It just goes to show you can't keep a good bivalve down. While most members of its family are known for staying put, the scallop is a nimble fellow indeed. 
When a hungry sea star approaches, the scallop can swim away by clap clapping its shells together. How does the scallop know when a predator approaches, you ask? Why, it has 200 eyes to see with. Wow. It makes one wonder what else the scallop sees with all those eyes. I fear it sees into my very soul. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Rest assured, all donations are displayed in a timely manner. You have my gratitude. Was it Alice in Wonderland or a different, like, Disney kind of cartoon where there are scallops, like, being eaten and you see all of the little eyes? Let me know if anybody else remembers that or if I'm misremembering things. I, I feel like it was an Alice in Wonderland, but I can't think of what else it might be. I feel like there was a sea lion or a seal involved as a character. Are you a grasshopper? Nope. <laughs> okay, let's go sell these. And then maybe let's check what the seasonal items for shopping are. Forget like the raincoat. I'm just gonna wear like my snorkel outfit every time it rains from now on. Not my glasses. Sell the stuff I have left from last night. Once somebody moves out of the town, I'm gonna buy a bunch of the tickets and we can do a villager hunting video. Okay, I don't need anything in here. I have to go to the nook shopping. Wow, it's really coming down now. Let's see if any of the animals say anything about my outfit. Aren't mornings neat? I love long walks to keep your feet entertained. Oh, no. Didn't even care about my outfit. What now? Is that just for talking to three animals? Yeah, it was. Is there a maximum number of nook miles you can have? Because I think I'm about to reach it. Shopping. Is it under special goods? Seasonal. Oh, bamboo grass. That's pretty. I like that. I could put that in my bamboo garden area. I already have these two items. Good thing, too, because they're only available until the six. Cool, cool. All right. Are you a grasshopper? No, I don't want the ladder. Not sure which villager is crafting today. Not Kabuki. They always talk about fossils 
I don't know why that's like the thing they harp on. Is it because I'm walking around with the shovel afterwards? Or like while I'm trying to find them? I find the villagers in this game really don't have as much dialogue as they used to. Here's our crafting friend. A purple pansy crown. I, I do already know that one. Bummer. All right, let's head back out into the water and see if we can find one of the pearls that Pascal was talking about. I haven't swam near the airport yet. Haha. I get to see all of your secrets now. How did Fuchsia get down here so fast? Wasn't she just up on the other side? I got a pearl oyster. Aw, shucks, don't clam up now. So is that what, did Pascal mean just a pearl oyster or am I able to find just plain pearls as well? I caught an octopus. It can give four hugs at once. Okay, so there's definitely sea creatures that I haven't gotten yet. The urchins seem pretty common. Definitely common. Maybe I have caught everything now. I don't know though. I feel like I say that and then something new happens. But I want to try to find a pearl. Bubbles. I also think of Finding Nemo with that, like the tank, the fish that's like, Bubbles! Why does the seaweed have to be such a big clump? Pascal comes tomorrow if I get a scallop. 
wonder if he'll give me other recipes or if he'll only trade pearls from now on. Either way, I'm not mad about that. I love Pascal. I got a sticker of him from Etsy that fits on my dock because I have the Animal Crossing Special Edition one. So I got Pascal and I also got Isabel in a little boat. How cute is that? I could not resist. Another sea urchin. Okay, I should be able to find sea pineapple according to the internet. I don't always trust that though. It says it's small and doesn't move. Another sea anemone. We should also be able to find a mussel. It says June through December. completely dove past that one. At least it didn't move. I should also be able to find a well. Oh, some of these have times next to them. Looks like there's still quite a few I'm missing that are out during this time of year. That one's okay, so you can tell if it moves because it it's got the puff of clouds. This is new. A gazami crab. What a gripping find. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Gazami? 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 check these in with blathers. Oh, there's my other recipe for today. A lucky gold cat! Yay! One of my favorite items in the game. I love cats. say hi to Blathers again. Blathers is gonna be sick of me by the end of the day. I think I already caught this bug, but 
Well, I failed. Make a donation. Three things this time, Blathers. Aren't you proud of me? Alright guys, I think this is where I'm going to end part two. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!